Supermoon Science, November 2016 Moon Biggest and Brightest in 60 Years On Monday, 14th of November, the moon will be the biggest and brightest it has been in more than 60 years. So long as the sky is clear of clouds, it should be a great time to get outside and gaze at it or take some photos. It's what is commonly called a supermoon, or technically a perigee full moon, a phenomenon that occurs when a full moon coincides with the moon being the closest it gets to the Earth on its orbit. What makes this one special is that the moon is going to be even closer to the Earth than it normally gets, making it a tiny bit bigger than even your average supermoon. But, despite a lot of hyperbolic news written about the event in the past few days, don't be too surprised if it looks much like any other full moon. Wondering what's really going on and how to catch a glimpse? We've got you covered. How much bigger will it be? At 8.09 p.m. GMT, the moon will pass by the Earth at a distance of 356,511 kilometers, the closest it has passed the Earth since 1948. As it does so, it will be a full moon, making it a particularly big supermoon. Supermoons are roughly 30% larger in area and 30% brighter than the smallest full moons, full moons that happen when the moon is at its furthest distance from Earth, at apogee. In terms of diameter, the width of the moon, it will be about 14% wider than the smallest full moons. The difference between this unusually big supermoon and other supermoons, like the ones you could have seen on 16th of October or you could see on 14 December, is negligible. How bright will it look? While a supermoon is 30% brighter than the smallest full moons, it's only about 15% brighter than an average full moon. That's nothing to sneeze at, on a clear night, away from city lights, it will provide more moonlight than you'd usually get from a full moon. But, anywhere near the city, that difference is likely to be difficult to perceive. And, of course, clouds or haze could wipe out the difference or indeed cover the moon completely. How big will it look? When it comes to the size, the difference in width, diameter, between a supermoon and an average moon is about 7%. When the moon is high in the sky, that difference is something you're unlikely to notice, because the sky is big and there's nothing to measure it against. But if you could compare it to a moon at apogee, when it's farthest, you would probably be able to see the difference. The image below shows that difference. Supermoon, difference in size between the smallest and largest moon appearances. A supermoon occurs when a full moon coincides with the closest, perigee, position in the moon's orbit, resulting in a moon that appears larger and brighter than normal. Here you can see the size difference compared with the smallest possible full moon, apogee. Apogee, 